Chicago's Motel Row stretches along Lincoln Avenue on the north side from the Apache to the Summit and the Diplomat. But perhaps none of these 50 eras motels is as recognizable as one a few miles away in Edgewater. It's a location many Chicagoans know by heart. Yeah, I know where that sign is. It's right on that corner of Peterson and Ridge. The neon sign. That sign is really iconic. At the Heart O Chicago Motel is a sort of year-round valentine to the city. Got a heart in the middle of it. A symbol of love and hospitality, and it's all lighthearted. It's got a sense of humor about it, um, and it's you know it's it's hugely misleading in a lot in a lot of ways, which I think attracts a lot of attention. It's not the Heart O Chicago. It's maybe the heart of the far north side or the heart the heart of this community. This neighborhood is Edgewater. The motel has been owned by the same family. We've got 45 units. We've got uh, nine uh, king beds. Since it opened in 1957. This is a typical room. Uh, obviously, all of our rooms are the same. This happens to be a two bed. It has two beds in it. Uh, we have a credenza with two drawers, a desk, and obviously a reading chair. But my letters were getting kind of faded. Owner Scott DeGraff says his father's company, DeGraff Brothers, was hired to be the concrete contractor during construction. But when the developer went bankrupt, the brothers decided to build it anyway, thinking they'd sell it within a year. Well, they decided not to sell it, and we've had it ever since, and we're going on 66 years, I believe. And in many ways. If we need to shut down uh, Expedia and Travelocity, yeah, yeah we, need, we need to do them. The Heart O Chicago feels like a postcard from another era. We've got all the staff uh, yeah. going on, cleaning, cleaning all the rooms. This, yeah. Okay, fantastic. From the lack of key cards to the old school key strokes. I wanted to keep the motel as, as it was originally, as far as I had custom furniture made just so it looked like, you know, we've never changed our furniture. We have yellow bathrooms, yellow tile bathrooms. Uh, I want to make it look kind of retro. I wanted to keep it in the style of the motel that when it was built in, in the heyday of these little motels. And there's only a handful of these kinds of buildings left that are kept to this level of, of maintenance. Ward Miller is the executive director of Preservation Chicago, which works to save Chicago's architectural history, whether it's from the 1850s or the 1950s. This is really a wonderful little sort of time capsule, if you will, of the American dream. In the 1950s and 1960s, where a family could get in their car and really enjoy, you know, a, a modest vacation that wouldn't break the bank and stay in a clean place. For more than six decades, the Hardo Chicago Motel has attracted budget-conscious travelers, including out-of-state Cubs fans planning trips to Wrigley Field. You know, they come for three, four, five days, and then they, they leave, but they're, they're already booked for the season. So it's kind of neat to see them every year, and, and it's kind of like family. Through the years, the motel has hosted guests who were almost famous. And we had Ch Cheap Trick before they were known and Ario Speedwagon. The blues musician Mark Hummel entitled one of his albums Heart of Chicago and posed in front of the sign for the album cover. The 2003 Harvey Keitel movie Crime Spree filmed a scene at the motel. Look, I already told you I get room 14. Despite a handful of requests from TV and movie producers every year, DeGraff declines those requests now. Most of the time it's, you know, uh, you know, uh, not the best type of movies, and I, I really don't want a reputation to be, you know, the, the motel that they always film, you know, terrible movies. It's a business that's open 24-7, 365 days a year, never missing a beat. You know, it's not a, a Hilton, don't expect a Hilton, but it's clean, it's economical, it's free parking, and you're not going to find anything cheaper in Chicago. For $110 a night, home is where the heart is. In Edgewater, Mike Lowe, WGN News.